Okay, so in this video we're going to be looking at the processes of transcription and then translation. Transcription is where we take a DNA sequence from a gene and make a messenger RNA copy of that gene so that it can leave the nucleus and go be turned into a protein in the cytoplasm. So we're transcribing the DNA language into a very similar RNA language. So we have our double-stranded DNA molecule here with its complementary base pairing and you can think of this stretch of um, sequence as containing a gene that needs to be turned into a protein. So we have an RNA polymerase. This is an enzyme that builds an RNA molecule. It will bind to a region of the DNA called a promoter that says that a gene needs to be turned into a protein. So the RNA polymerase will bind. It opens up the double-stranded DNA into a bubble where a single-stranded messenger RNA molecule can be produced. The DNA, sorry, RNA polymerase will move along until it reaches a terminator region, which is where the gene has finished, and the RNA polymerase will then detach. And we have produced a single-stranded messenger RNA molecule. We know that it's RNA because it's single-stranded, and we also know that it's RNA because it has uracil, or U, in place of T. So now our single-stranded molecule has been made. It's small enough to leave the nucleus, so we'll look at the next step. Translation is where we need to turn the RNA language into the completely different language of amino acids. This is our messenger RNA. We read this messenger RNA in triplets of three bases called codons. So there is a codon for every amino acid. Some amino acids are specified by several different codons. But there is only one codon that says start here, and that is AUG. So the codon AUG codes for the amino acid methionine, and that is a start codon. In the cytoplasm, we have many, many ribosomes. They're the tiny little black specks. They consist of two subunits. You'll see the second one in a moment. We also have transfer RNAs. So these are molecules. There's one for every amino acid. So there's about 20 of them. They have a complementary set of three bases attached to them. This is an anticodon. It's called an anticodon because it binds with the complementary codon. It's the opposite of. So A will bind with U, U will bind with A, G will bind with C. This transfer RNA is carrying the starter amino acid for the growing protein chain, methionine. So our ribosomal unit encloses the RNA sequence and our first amino acid for methionine is in position. A second transfer RNA comes in, this time for the codon AAG, which if you look up your codon usage table or the codon wheel, you will see that it refers to the amino acid lysine. So we need to form a peptide bond between the lysine and the methionine. So there's a little black line there indicating that a peptide bond has been formed. Now the methionine amino acid transfer RNA here has lost its amino acid, it's empty. So it has to go off to the cytoplasm and be regenerated and pick up a new methionine ready for the next time it's used. Another transfer RNA will come in this time for the codon UUU, which binds to the complementary anticodon AAA. And if we look up our table, UUU refers to the amino acid phenylalanine, which gets added to our chain. Heads off to get regenerated. The ribosome slides along the messenger RNA. Another transfer RNA comes in, this time for GGC, which happens to code for the amino acid glycine. And now our amino acid chain consists of four residues, or four amino acids. Clicks along, 
off it goes. Now each gene has an endpoint or, and there will be a stop code on in the messenger RNA that says this is where the ribosome can detach and that is where a releasing factor protein will come in from the cytoplasm and bind. So now our ribosome can detach, our releasing factor heads off into the distance and we have created a chain of four amino acids. This will go off to the cytoplasm towards the uh, Golgi apparatus where it will be folded and processed into a mature protein. Now these two shockwave flak, uh, flash videos, you can make them work on Internet Explorer and you can use the forward and back buttons to just get it familiar with the steps. If you do it a few times, you'll start to see the pattern.